right here on this table. So let's clear up the table and uh, let's let's do our own little <laughs> invocation, huh? Ina is going to show us the ancient technique of invoking the spirits. Table. Oh. Okay. What wow. is that? Oh. So we are talking about the 2015 movie, Ghoul. This is a found footage haunted house movie, very, very much like the movie The Blair Witch. I've seen a lot of found footage films. This one really does remind me of that classic that started it all, I guess, The Blair Witch. This one directed and co-written by Peter Jackay, uh, and it's set in the Ukraine. And we have this kind of small group of American uh, documentary filmmakers basically want to kind of do a, uh, a project on the history of cannibalism within the kind of the Ukraine and uh, what happened there in the past and, and stuff like that. And we get to uh, that there's this particular um, gentleman that they want to speak to who has admitted to killing people. And anyway, they end up they end up in this kind of remote farmhouse and. There appears to have been some kind of dark stuff going on there before. And they're, they're accompanied by a couple of locals and the kind of the local witch. And of course, the spirits come a knocking and spooky stuff starts to happen. And they can't get out. They're trapped there. If they leave, they end up getting ill and they have to deal with the spirits at hand. So, what do I think about Ghoul? I've got to say, this is quite an effective chiller. There are genuine moments here of real spooky creepiness and a great sense of tension because you really are dealing with kind of the um the unknown the, the, the way that film presents itself is you simply don't know what's going on and what it is it a corporeal issue is there genuine spirits or is there someone in the woods messing with them so the sense of unknown the for and the sense of foreboding is very palpable in this film and i've got to say I thought the performances were, generally speaking, okay. Um, so they, they, they made you, you know, believable characters here, and I, and I felt that they were kind of acting in a somewhat kind of believable way for the most part. And when we kind of do see stuff on screen, I think it's handled in, in an effective way. You know, it is a found footage film, so it does fall into those, uh, those trappings of a, a found footage film where it's very, very shaky cam, and you don't really see all that much and stuff like that. But nevertheless, I did feel it was it was handled quite well. On the negative side here for me, I felt like the supernatural stuff on display was very undefined. I mean, the stuff the I guess you would call it the, the supernatural powers that were on the, that you see on screen just seemed to be oh we need this to happen. So just for supernatural reasons, this will this will get this will happen in a certain way. Without kind of giving any spoilers, things happen. You think. I don't know how that would happen if, if we're talking about a ghost and stuff. How is a, a, a massive hole in the ground that was dug a second ago suddenly all filled in and, and looked like it hasn't been disturbed? Things like that. They're just things to ha that happen in the film that you feel they're very undefined and they just kind of happen because the script deems it necessary to. And I've got to say, even though I kind of, kind of like the acting, some of the characters were a, on the, a little bit on the kind of the grating side. And when it's all said and done, even though this film is quite effective in its scares, I don't feel it's particularly original in regards to its storytelling. It's so reminiscent of the Blair Witch in the, in regards to the kind of the, the 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 mega kind of shaky cam that you just can't see what's going on half the time. I think some found footage films um, make it work a little bit better than this, so you can kind of get a better sense of what's going on. Or this one, you, you're just literally watching kind of a light just fly around the screen when they're running around, and you have no idea what you're looking at. So I feel some of the um, the way that it was shot was just a little bit too, like, 10 years ago, if that makes sense. There should have been um, a little bit more of a surer hand, I think, maybe in the directing. But it did work as a horror film. It was scary. There is some decent jump scares and some kind of, uh, some quite kind of, <gasps> you know, hold your breath moments and stuff like that. So I feel it, it does work as a horror film. Overall, I'll give this movie a 6 out of 10. Have you seen it? What do you think of it? Leave a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.